YouTube, it's Alicia Burton, and I'm here to um, give you a um, hair tutorial, but I am going to be using the olive oil um, wrap and setting mousse, styling mousse, this right here. Um, I used this one this morning, and I have a different effect to it, so I wanted to see what this one would do, so... Yeah, so what I'm doing now, and I'm kind of comb picking it and um, parting it and stuff. So, um, so let me just go on and get finished doing that. All right. And before I let y'all let me remind y'all, I have that. I have naturally curly hair. Um, I don't have a perm, so without perm, excuse me, y'all. Um, different products will act a different way. So I have re a refined curly hair texture. So I have a good hair texture. And so what I'm gonna do is just run this all the way around my hair front and back so i'm just i'm working it around So we're gonna do that so what I'm gonna do next is take the comb <laughs> if you hear um a TV. I'm sorry about that. I have my, I have my niece out here, and she's watching Shira, Princess of Power. So yeah. Okay, and so then the next thing is to wash your comb because you want to use it again. I just rinsed the stuff off and dry it off. And we're going to take this brush.
So the next thing we're gonna do is just do the edges. And we're gonna take this brush. It's more of a softer brush than the other brush. We're gonna take a little bit of the foam. We're gonna do this. And for the back, we're gonna take it like this. The back is going to be more curly, but yeah. Um, I have used those once before, but that is all. So all we're going to do is going to wait a couple hours and let it dry. And um, we're going to, so this, um, so yeah, so the one we're using right now is the Olive Oil Oris. Um, wrap and setting mousse, hair styling mousse, moisturizing, hold and added volume. So we're going to see what this is going to do. But I had um, this one on this morning and my hair was totally, totally different. And by totally different, I mean it put a, because I have a, a refined curly hair it gave it like a wave effect you kind of can see a wave effect but it's not truly in depth so we're going to see how that's going to work but it looks like this part is not going to work too freely so what I am going to do I'm going to push it to the back Add a little on the edges. That's it. And just go backwards with it and what it's going to how it's going to react later until then i'm alicia burton don't forget to thumbs up this video comment below and subscribe to my channel